Countdown for the Cotton Bowl Classic between my University of Memphis football playing Tigers and the Penn State Nittany Lions. At one day, as a matter of fact, it's really less than 24 hours. The 12 and 1, 17th ranked Tigers facing their biggest test of the season against the 10 and 2, 10th ranked Nittany Lions. Jessica Benson is live in Arlington, Texas. Well, the fans are having the ball, but the team, they better be sleep or ready to sleep and ready to ball. Thanks, Doc. I'm here at the Memphis Tigers Team Hotel, and yes, it is bedtime. And for Ryan Silverfield, he's now just one sleep away from making his collegiate head coaching debut. And at the Cotton Bowl, it's the first time it's ever happened with a man having his first game be this game. It is a wildly big stage for a man celebrating just his three-week anniversary on the job. But it has been a whirlwind, but it's been a fun one. From a supporting role in the AAC championship game to shaking hands with Penn State coach James Franklin ahead of the biggest bowl game in Memphis history, it's go time for Ryan Silverfield. We're going to treat this game no different than we have any other games uh, this season. Obviously, it's an important one. Like we always say every year, the next one's the most important game. Uh, but this one's obviously pretty darn special. Um, I'll, this is a game I'll never forget for many reasons. We're trying to, you know, come out with a bang for him. You know, it's his first game. You know, I understand. He, I know he's excited, and we're excited for him. We're going to go out there and give it all we got for that man for sure. I'm a big fan of Ryan's and very, very happy for him. I think the University of Memphis made a great decision in keeping this thing in-house. For both teams, that respect carries over from the podium to the field. This Penn State defense is the best we've seen. All right, their front seven is phenomenal. Their back end guys play well. Um, I mean, they, they've got first rounders up front. They've got all American linebacker. All their linebackers are great players. Ryan is sitting here you know, talking about our defense. We can say the same thing about their offense. Um, obviously, a quarterback that understands how to operate their system and plays with tremendous confidence, how explosive they are at the wide receiver position how explosive and productive they've been at the running back position with a really nice one-two punch. For the man who called Memphis his dream job, taking home the Cotton Bowl trophy would be a dream start to a head coaching career. You know, looking at that trophy, it's for the people of Memphis, it's for the 901, it's for our program, it's for our community. And to me, it'd be an honor to be able to bring that back for our entire city. And uh, look, the kids have poured in. I know they're going to play their tails off, but I'd like to have that thing sit next to me on the flight home tomorrow as well. And Coach Silverfield giving plenty of credit to Mike Norvell, saying he and this team would not be here if it not for him. But Silverfield does have a chance to do something that his predecessor never got done during his time at Memphis, and that's win a bowl game. The Tigers have not won a bowl game since 2014. We'll see if they can get it done here tomorrow at the Cotton Bowl. For now, from Arlington, Jessica Benson, Local 24 Sports.